These cigarettes have a strange smell, Arthur. They smell like rotting water and look, rats have gotten into some of them. They're stolen, are they not? Don't ask. They smell because you keep them on the boat. What are you, Ken? Eh? Can you come and check my adding up, please? You know, you should make a new start for this place. Do it properly. These cigarettes are not fit to sell. Smells like Gallipoli. You should find a new place to store them. It has to be far away from coppers. <laughs> but not rats. All the wolves have rats, Grace. What's wrong with a dry warehouse? Tommy's orders. What orders? Always keep contraband near petrol boat moorings. Don't boats get searched? We moor them at junctions. So there's more than one way out. No looks are in a mile, so we can move that stuff fast. Your brother doesn't obey the law, but he has rules. Precise man, your brother. Is my heading up, right? It is now. One, two, three, and four. And we'll search them one by one. Please, Lord, let that which I seek be found here. Not so much as a bullet, sir. Just more cigarettes and whiskey. Arthur tells me you've been asking questions about how we run our business and how we get our booze and where we keep it. I'm just trying to help. As you and me go for a walk. Where to? Come on. Why here? You're a good Catholic girl, aren't you? Yes. Well, then you know it's here people come to confess. After you. Jesus Christ, I'll confess. I need someone. Kimber has an advisor by the name of Roberts. He talks well, keeps the accounts, runs the legal side of the business. And you need a Roberts? Arthur tells me you have ideas. I'm not an accountant nor a lawyer. No. No, but you have something I need. Class. I need someone who looks right at the big meetings. Epsom, Ascot. Is this a job interview? Arthur says you're good with numbers. <laughs> well, that's relative. He's quite poor. <laughs> you keep the books in order. They were chaotic. But you're a liar. No Catholic girl would enter a church and forget to make the sign of a cross. You're very perceptive. First you lied to me about that pub you used to work in. And now I find out you're a Protestant. Do you care? No. I like to fit in. You pull a pint like someone who's thinking about it. This is not an interview, this is an interrogation. Sit down. You're washed up in a place you don't belong, for whatever reason. My good fortune. And perhaps mine. You know that most of what I do was illegal? I'm not blind. And yet you'd still be willing to work for me. Are you offering me the job? <laughs> 
then I accept. There's something else you should know. A very important detail about my reasons for employing you. You disappoint me. Do you resign? No. My appetite for the work has only increased.